before we start, I'm sure a question so many people ask you, Johannes, have you anything to do with the racing driver Schumacher? Well, not by blood, but maybe by mentality. Ah, <laughs> as they say. Let me round it up by yes. an example from the motorsport. Okay. Because you, you, you brought it up, yes? Yes, and I think <laughs> who wouldn't know you and think of this? Okay, so if in your car the oil lamp is burning, what are you going to do? Would you uh, get a tape to, to tape it to not seeing the, the lamp anymore? No, of course, you know, you need to go back to the source, which means filling up oil. But if people go to the hospital, nowadays, many times, they just get a tape to not even feel the disease anymore. They get like painkillers, they get like cut something, but we don't get the, the real reason for the disease. And that is what modern medicine and I would say the 21st century medicine can do. Like going back to the source of the disease to, um, to put away the reasons why the body can't heal itself and then the body does the miracle. That's what we are going to do. And back in 2014, my father was suffering from cancer. And I wasn't happy with the treatments they gave him. So I was searching for alternative treatments, for better treatments. And then I found about dendritic cell therapy, which I tried to find out for him. But obviously it was too late. I was talking like 10 days with the responsible doctors, 10 days before his death. I'm sorry. And then I found that this therapy is very helpful, but it is not available in Spain. And this is when I started to investigate how can I offer this amazing therapy to patients in Spain and to patients from abroad here in Spain in Marbella. As I imagine you are challenging many existing therapies that are very lucrative for many big companies. Well, that's true, but while the medicine of the, of the 20th century was more based, when it comes to cancer, in fighting against a disease like cutting away affected tissue, like poisoning affected tissue, like um, radi giving radiation to the tissue, we now, in research, are a step further to go behind the causes of the disease and to see that the cancer always has a reason. And this reason is more seen in the metabolic system, in a de defect in the metabolic system and in the immune system. And it was given the Nobel Prize to Ralph Steinman in 2011 for his research on dendritic cell therapy where we are going to repair the immune system to fight against cancer. What results have there been in general that make you so sure that this could have helped? There are hundreds of clinical studies around and they show that the efficiency of dendritic cell therapy is about three to five times higher than in traditional therapy. But it does seem to make sense as opposed to us attacking the body and killing the body to do something, as you're saying, which is to recreate the parts that are going to help as opposed to destroying the rest. Exactly. We all have dendritic cells in our bodies and they are fighting against cancer even if we are not really affected. We can, in a healthy body, have until 150,000 cancer cells without taking notice of it. The dendritic cells, they make the body clean up from the cancer. But when a cancer issue appears, that immune system is disturbed, it can't cope anymore. And what we do then, we take the blood, we multiply the dendritic cells in the laboratory, prime them with the cancerous material that they have the right information what to fight against, and then we give the dendritic cells back into the body. And that gives then an immune boost which fights against the cancer like seven times stronger than the body could by itself. And so even in terminal situation, we had very good results. And if patients come early enough, there is a very good chance to 
heal the cancer and not just in a way that we get rid of the, the tumor at the moment, but the chance is that we really uh, get back to health. And that is the most important invention that Dr. Ralph Steinman did and for what he got the Nobel Prize. Well, it really, really is fascinating. Where are you located? Where do people come to see you to have this treatment? Well, we have our office in Mijas in Cala Honda, and usually the first talks are in our office, and then we check what kind of clinic or hospital is going to proceed with this patient. That is usually the way. We are cooperating with clinics and hospitals in the Mabea area, in other areas of Spain and in Gibraltar. And contact Johannes if you want more information. It's really fascinating to talk, to talk with you and to learn this and I wish you lots of luck. Keep it going. Thank you, Nicole. It's been a pleasure. Thank Johann you. Johann Schumacher. Nothing to do with the racing driver. Except in personality. And it's gonna go your way.